morning and welcome to our Gospel Reflection for this Saturday in the ninth week of Ordinary Time. Today we celebrate the Memorial of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel comes from Luke, chapter 2, verses 41 to 51. Every year his parents used to go to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went up for the feast as usual. When the days of the feast were over and they set off home, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem without his parents knowing it. They assumed he was somewhere in the party and it was only after a day's journey that they went to look for him among their relations and acquaintances. When they failed to find him, they went back to Jerusalem looking for him everywhere. It happened that three days later they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all those who heard him were astounded at his intelligence and his replies. They were overcome when they saw him, and his mother said to him, My child, why have you done this to us? See how worried your father and I have been looking for you. He replied, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he meant. He went down with them then and came to Nazareth and lived under their authority. His mother stored up all these things in her heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Throughout her life, Mary embodied a profound love for Christ, submitting herself to God's will in cheerful obedience despite difficulties. Dedicated to honouring the interior life of the Blessed Mother, the devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary reflects upon her heart of love for God, celebrating her joys, sorrows and virtues. Over the course of her lifetime, Mary endured many trials, but throughout it all, her attitude was one of steadfast faith and unflinching obedience, reflecting her Immaculate Heart. Catholic tradition recognises the seven sorrows of Mary one of which is represented in the Gospel today when the child Jesus was lost for three days before being found in the temple. The Immaculate Heart of Mary demonstrates how steadfast faith and obedience to God can help lead us through trials and temptations. In a homily given by Pope John Paul II in 1979, he stated, This woman of faith, Mary of Nazareth, the mother of God, has been given to us as a model in our pilgrimage of faith. From Mary, we learned to, to surrender to God's will. From Mary, we learned to trust even when all hope seems gone. From Mary, we learned to love Christ, her son and the son of God. Mary is not only the mother of God, but she's also the mother of the church as well. So today we pray, Father, you prepared the heart of the Virgin Mary to be a fitting home for your Holy Spirit. By her prayers, may we become more worthy of your glory. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for our Gospel Reflection today. Next week, Anne O'Brien and Mark Gobius will be leading our Gospel Reflections. Have a wonderful weekend and God bless you.